This week, we're exploring the city of Greenfield, located north of the Pioneer Valley. This county city seat of almost 18,000 people is the first thing or last thing people get to experience in Massachusetts while traveling on I-91. Is Greenfield worth visiting and is a good representation of the Pioneer Valley, or is it just another waypoint towards something better? I'm Gus, and let's see what's along the way. Greenfield was first settled in 1686, mostly by colonists from the nearby town of Deerfield. The formation of Greenfield is a result of what is known as the Puncomtuck Grants, whereby multiple settlements form on what it used to be native land. These came about from a deed that seems to imply more of a joint occupancy rather than a full sale. Nonetheless, when settlers first arrived to present-day Deerfield, it had just been occupied by natives only six months prior. Still, the English saw it as vacant under their principle of vacuum domicilum, as in settled, farmed, and enclosed by fencing. Greenfield is located at the confluence of three rivers, the Connecticut River, Green River, and the Deerfield River and it has proven to be of importance, as not soon after its incorporation in 1753, Greenfield had become a major mill town and trade center. The roots of this economic boom can still be seen today. By 1811, the county of Franklin was formed from Hampshire County and made Greenfield its county seat. The city is crisscrossed by major routes, including I-91, US-5, and Massachusetts Route 2 and 10, while also being a major throughway for both freight and passenger rail. It receives traffic from the former Troy and Boston Railroad from east to west, while also from the Connecticut River Line from north to south. Today, this area is served by both Amtrak and Pan Am Railways. The city is also a cultural center, and it shows through its different architectural styles. Predominantly showcasing Victorian style architecture, there is also a mixture of neoclassical, art deco, and bow arts, like the Weldon Hotel. Built in 1905, it is an example of bow arts architecture it formerly operated as a hotel from 1907 until 1977. Currently, it operates as a senior living facility and is a registered national historic place. Now, let's take a moment to focus on a specific landmark that can tell us more about this city. Located on the Green River, the Eunice Williams Covered Bridge, named after the wife of Reverend John Williams, was killed crossing the river in forced captivity during the Raid of Deerfield, or Deerfield Massacre, in 1704, as part of Queen Anne's War. This event has become part of the American frontier mythos of the era. The river, where the city's name originates, has been part of multiple historical events throughout its history and today is one of the main sources of water for the city. The bridge is a classic New England staple, though removed from its historical context, it might not be much of a looker compared to others scattered throughout New England. It is an easy tourist trap for the uneducated, but for others, it's a symbol of the roots of the people who live here. And it's nice to drive through. They get the idea. Also, apparently people say it's haunted, but come on, it's clearly the white noise created by the falls.
Lastly, we'll take a look at a hiking spot that has inspired locals and poets alike. Bordering the Connecticut River at the Rocky Mountain Park, Poet's Seat Tower is a sandstone structure overlooking the city of Greenfield. Originally built out of wood in 1873, the structure we see today superseded the wooden one in 1912. The name Poet's Seat was coined by Frederick Goddard Tuckerman, a poet who moved to Greenfield in 1847. And since it has provided spectacular views to its visitors, these were just a few things you can see and experience in the city of Greenfield. This city might have some rough edges, and had gone through some troubles in the past, but I am hopeful for Greenfield's future. With its history and culture, I think it's a place worth more of a visit than a pit stop. So what do you guys think?、Um, would you visit Greenfield after seeing this video? Have you ever visited Greenfield?、Uh, do you live in Greenfield right now?、Uh, let us know down in the comments. And I think that's it for now.、Um, have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you guys later.